To learn what goes on behind the scenes in your browser, you need a tool that captures all the networks it makes. In this milestone, you are going to learn to use one such tool, Chrome Developer Tools. Developer Tools allows you to look inside any web page on the internet. It's really powerful if you think about it. For instance, you can visit your favorite website and learn how its UI was built by inspecting the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript elements. You can execute custom code inside those pages and debug front-end issues directly on the page. By accessing google.com with developer tools enabled, you can observe all the network requests made by the browser and dig deeper to understand the details of each request. Follow along on your laptop for the best learning experience or simply watch this video to get started and use the text-based instructions below to do it yourself later. Let's start by opening Chrome Developer Tools. You can use the menu bar or a keyboard shortcut that is appropriate for your operating system. Once you've opened Chrome Developer Tools, you'll notice that there are several tabs. The default is the Elements tab. The Elements tab contains a list of all HTML elements that make up this web page. But we are interested in observing all the network requests. So let's head over to the Network tab. We're now ready for some HTTP action. Head over to the address bar in the browser and type HTTP google.com and hit enter. And voila, Google's homepage loads successfully on the left side. In the developer tools window, you can see a list of all the network requests that were made to serve Google's homepage. Observe this screenshot for a bit and try to see how many requests were actually made. We can go into the details of each of these requests to understand how Google's homepage was actually served. Before we get into the details of each request, let's look at some high-level information. Observe the developer tools window and try to answer these questions. How many requests were made in order to serve Google's homepage? What is the size of Google's homepage? How much of Google's homepage was rendered from the cache and how much of it was transferred over the network? How much time did it take to load Google's homepage? All these answers are actually available to us right at the bottom of developer tools and is a very handy resource for any web developer. The resources on Google's homepage that are cached by the browser are not requested every time we visit Google's homepage. Let's go ahead and disable the cache and see the impact it has on all the parameters that we measured earlier. This time, observe how much data was rendered from the cache and how much was transferred over the network. Now you understand the usefulness of a cache. It can significantly speed up loading of websites and reduce the amount of data that has to be transferred over the network every single time. Try this exercise on some of your other favorite websites. Disable the cache, load the website, and observe the parameters, and then enable the cache, reload the website a few times, and observe the parameters again. You will notice the significant reduction in the number of bytes transferred over the network when the cache is enabled. All right, so that's a fun exercise. Moving on, in the next milestone, we'll observe each of these HTTP requests in detail and try to figure out why there are so many and what's going on in each of them. But before that, I highly recommend that you use the text-based instructions below and try each of these things out on your own so you get a deep understanding of the concepts that we discussed in this milestone. Give it a shot and then see you in the next milestone.